PGA Tour 2K23 coming your way. Do not forget to like, subscribe. If you haven't seen my video about 2K25 and the information we don't have, definitely go check that one out. Appreciate you all coming on in. And just to let you know, my golf faithful, my local, my, my friends of the golf, PGA, EA, I know there's football stuff coming out. I know there's going to be basketball stuff coming out next week. Do not forget. I love golf and I understand what made me blow up in the first place. Golf is always going to be forefront of this channel. And that's something that you should always remember. There's, there's just no golf video game out right now. All of the tips and the tricks that I can give you guys have been put out. I'm trying to obviously keep it going as much as possible, but at the same time, uh, it's a little bit challenging simply because there's just no, no golf game, no golf news yet. It's a lot of the same game that's been going on for two years now. So let me just tell you where I'm at. I switched up my bag slightly and I'm going to talk to you about a golf tip that I gave in a video that has really helped bring me back to life in this game and really get me going after taking like, you know, back in from April to April, I took a year off before getting back into this. So, um, driver fitting my powers at max out at a hundred and I swapped in one of these timing fittings simply because it was minus 10 power. And I still was at 100. So this is where I'm at right now. Power, power. Um, like I said, golf, driver, power, transition, your two biggest friends there. I would like to get my timing up a little bit. So if I can get that 100 down to like a 95, that's definitely something that I'd really like to do for what's in my bag. Wood has not changed there. You can still see that I have a very big, um, very big focus here on power and transition simply because I want this club to go as far as we possibly can go. Hybrid, I do not have a hybrid. Irons, I switched this up and this is the biggest change here. I took a little bit of power off of my high, I mean my irons and I increased my lie range. So you can see here I added this one. It gave me about an 11 to 12 because the previous one that I had was minus two. So it's actually a 13 point bump on the lie range, which is a huge, huge help for me here. So that's very important because a lot of the courses I'm playing, the lie range penalty is gonna has been severe. I do want to bump it up a little bit with my wedges, but with my wedges, I really want my timing to get a little bit better. Uh, so I'm gonna take power down a little bit eventually here, but obviously I just don't have enough virtual currency. And for my putter, putt weight is the most important. So always keep it at putt weight. Now let's dive on in. I'm gonna play a couple holes here just to show you uh, the difference between the tip that I used that I always gave out um, and where I'm at right now. So let's dive on in. It's essentially, and I, I'll give you, I'll give you like the, the the gist of it is I always talk about how when I was swinging my best in this game, I always was doing partial swings. Right? I was never swinging full. I know people love to do the. Um, the 102, 105% swings to max out distance. Now that's really good for the driver, but it's not really good when you're hitting approach shots. So all of my shots here, so we'll do a little practice. A lot of the times I was swinging full, swinging fast, 102%. My meters have been very all over the place, you know, a little bit inconsistent. I always have a little bit of a push because I like to hit a draw, but they've been pretty, pretty wild and all over the place. Now what I've been doing is I've just been focusing on where the hands are in this situation. So my hands at the top of the shoulder, and this is a tip that I've always given out. Um, you pay attention to your golfer, not, not the meter, because I have no meter here. And then just finishing my swing before the vibration starts. So right here is when I transition. And I'm hitting like 91 percenters. Obviously that was slow, but you see how straight that meter was? Like look how much straighter these meters are. They're pretty much right on that line. And when you're playing on the higher difficulties, um, it's it's a, it's a very important situation. So uh, that's pretty much it. That's the tip that I've been doing, and it's a, it's been helping out a lot. Just taking like ninety two percent swings and just hitting a lot straighter shots. And I, I hit ninety seven percent there. That's still not bad at all. Um, the only thing you really got to remember is when you're hitting approach shots, right? So if, for instance, we're hitting this one here, and we want to hit, let's hit a full shot. If we can. So it's up 17 feet, which is six yards. So it's playing 110 into two miles an hour. So it's playing 112, right? Now this club goes 116. So if I moved it down to 112 
and I hit the 92 to 95 percent shot, it's not going to go 112 or it's not going to go 1 116 or 112 wherever I have it. It's going to go a little bit shorter than that. So actually in this situation, 116 would probably be perfect if I'm trying to hit it 112. Take off 10%, it's probably gonna go like 113, 1, 112 to 114, somewhere in there, depending on the wind and whether or not I hit my thing. So uh, we'll give it a little try here just for you there. So we'll go right at this flag. We're just gonna look, so I feel this one out with the wedge. It's a little bit sh lower than where my driver was. It's like right at my shoulder blade. Hit it pretty straight meter. I hit 88% there and it went the 112 number that we are looking for. So. That's pretty much what's really been helping me out here. Get get my swing back to where it should be and back to how dialed I used to be in. Uh, it's something that I just got to get used to, adjust my numbers and kind of finish everything off. So that's what's in my bag. That's the tip that's really been helping me get back into the swing of things. And I hope it helps you out as well. Appreciate you all. Do not forget to like, subscribe. Don't forget when any golf information does drop, I will let you know. I'm going to try to keep putting out golf videos as much content as I can, but don't fear if you see NBA 2K content coming out next week or more NCAA content, I still put out a lot of golf content. So appreciate you all like subscribe. See you tomorrow or in the future.